okay due to the lack of mechanical input so the armature current in the stator stator change its direction due to change of armature current the position of pole on the stator this is the position of pole in the stator is shifted by 180 degree angle okay and continue to run in the same direction in the motoring mode okay this is the stator pole okay if the current is direction is changed then s is changed to n and n is changed to s okay when n in s are changed then the, for the synchronization between the rotor and the stator the uh, this field is shifted by 180 degree okay and continue to run in the same direction okay so the statement uh, so the option a is correct now come to the question number 37 consider the following statement for the lagging power factor load these are the statement now come to the solution as we know that emf uh, field emf that is and emf produced at uh, 90 degree lagging then the at the lagging power factor armature current is lagged by 90 degree then the flux in this in the phase with the armature current so the statement first is correct then in the cylindrical rotor the synchronous machine the armature reaction phi a is in phase with the armature current yes that is correct okay now come to the we know that uh, direct axis reluctance is uh, less than uh, q a quadrature axis in the quadrature axis reluctance is higher and the direct axis reluctance is low due to the low reactance the reactance is very high due to the low reluctance reactance is high okay due to the high reactance the flux offered uh, in the direct axis that is high okay due to this uh, and uh, as compared to quadrature axis so the due to this the resulted m flux armature flux is lagged from the armature current by some angle okay now come to the statement in the statement 5 the silent pole synchronous machine this is a silent pole synchronous machine for a diagram okay the phi a legs from fa phi a legs from fa okay that is correct now come to the statement number 2 in the statement number 2 the armature reaction mmf fa in is in the phase with the ia this fa is in the phase of with the ia that is correct and both three four statement are wrong now come to the option that is one two five that is option d is correct now come to the question number 38 a three phase cylindrical rotor synchronous generator with its armature resistance and leakage reactance being neglected is synchronized to an infinite bus and its ex field excitation is kept constant thereafter now the machine is loaded by supplying the mechanical input to the shaft so that the load angle del reaches a value of 60 degree under this condition the operating power factor would be these are the option now come to the solution as we know that z is zero okay due to this this is the circuit okay now this is the field mmf and emf that is lagged by 90 degree okay now as mentioned in the question z is zero so the ia is in phase with the ef because z is zero okay and, and in the question and that del reach the value of 960 degree so due to this uh, del v is leg by 60 degree now from the phasor diagram so the armature current ia leads from the terminal voltage v so the or factor cos phi that is cos 60 that is 0.5 leading okay so the answer c is correct according to me now come to the question number 39 a 100 water turbine water turbine is coupled with the 125 mva and three phase alternator rated uh, for the 0.8 power factor lagging operation the all lo the losses of the alternator are negligible for the delivering a load of 90 megawatt 8.8 .8 power factor uh, lagging consider the following statement now come to the solution as we know that the turbine is 100 watt that is active element and generator that is reactive element which is work at 0.8 power factor at 125 
MVA and that is load also is reactive element which is work at 90 megawatt at 0.8 power, power factor. So the reactive element are compared for the MVA reddening but the active element are compared with the active power okay so generator generator active power that is 100 watt which can be fulfilled by the turbine okay so turbine is not uh, overloaded okay turbine can feed the power easily because it require 100 megawatt okay and load mva load mva that 90 divided by 0.5 that 180 mva load okay so the it require what 180 mva but uh, it generator is 125 mva so the generator is overloaded okay the whole set cannot be uh, deliver the power so the answer that is first statement the set cannot deliver the power that is correct uh, this alternator will be overloaded yes that is correct the turbine will be overloaded no turbine is not overloaded it can feed the power 100 megawatt which is uh, required for the generator the turbine will not overloaded yes the alternate will not overload it no the set can deliver the power no so the statement b is correct one two four now come to the statement number uh, now come to the question number 40 the phasor diagram of synchronous machine connected to an infinite bus is shown in the figure this the machine is acting as a these are the option now come to the solution as we know that uh, this is the uh, power factor diagram uh, at leading power factor for the synchronous generator and this E1, E2 are the EMF at leading power factor which is less than the voltage V1 as mentioned in the phasor diagram E is less than from the terminal voltage and here also the E is less than from the terminal voltage and E naught at a unity power factor so the when uh, this phasor diagram is at leading power factor for the generator okay so the ans answer option B is correct okay now if you have any query then meet me in comment box and if you like this video then like it share it and comment on it and uh, coming soon solution are previous year paper engineering paper power electronics uh, psb bra emf Matthew, and outside uq electromagnet som series and many more so don't forget to subscribe my channel that is anybody can download education that is at abcd education okay These are the some question, two question. So please give me the answer of these question in comment box. Uh, I will discuss in the next lecture. Okay. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thanks a lot for listening. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.